Chapter thirty five of the Holiest of All by Andrew Murray. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Recording by Christopher Smith. Chapter thirty five A High Priest Able to Sympathize. Hebrews chapter four, verse fifteen. For we have not a high priest that cannot be touched with the feeling of our infirmities, but one that hath been tempted in all things like as we are yet without sin. May God in his mercy give us a true insight into the glory of what is offered us in these words, even this, that our high priest, whom we have in heaven, is one who is able to sympathize with us, because he knows from personal experience exactly what we feel. Yes, that God might give us courage to draw nigh to him, he has placed upon the throne of heaven one out of our own midst, of whom we can be certain that, because he himself lived on earth as man, he understands us perfectly, is prepared to have patience with our weakness, and to give us just the help we need. It was to effect this that God sent his Son to become man, and as man perfected him through suffering. That not one single feeble soul should be afraid to draw nigh to the great God, or in drawing nigh should doubt as to whether God is not too great and holy fully to understand, or to bear with his weakness. Jesus, the tried and tempted one, has been placed upon the throne as our high priest. God gives us a glimpse into the heart of our compassionate, sympathizing high priest. For we have not a high priest who is not able to sympathize with our weaknesses. The writer uses the two negatives to indicate how common the thought is which he wishes to combat. A rich king who lives every day in luxury, can he, even though he hear of it, can he fully realize what it means for the poor sick man from year to year never to know where his daily bread is to come from? Hardly. And God, the glorious and ever-blessed, can he truly feel what a poor sinner experiences in his daily struggle with the weakness and temptations of the flesh? God be praised, Jesus knows, and is able to sympathize, he is one who hath been in all things tempted like as we are, yet without sin. In all things. The thought of Jesus as a sympathizing high priest is ordinarily applied to those who are in circumstances of trial and suffering. But the truth has a far deeper meaning and application. It has special reference to the temptation which meets the soul in the desire to live wholly for God. Jesus suffered being tempted. It was the temptation to refuse the Father's will that caused his deepest suffering. As the believer who seeks in all things to do the will of God understands this, the truth of the sympathizing high priest becomes doubly precious. What is the ordinary experience of those who set themselves with their whole heart to live for God? It happens very often that it is only then they begin to find out how sinful they are. They are continually disappointed in their purpose to obey God's will. They feel deeply ashamed at the thought of how often, even in things that appear little and easy, they fail entirely in keeping a good conscience and in pleasing God. At times it is as if the more they hear of the rest of God and the life of faith, the fainter the hope of attaining it becomes. At times they are ready to give up all in despair. A life in the rest of God is not for them. What comfort and strength comes at such a time to a soul when it sees that Jesus is able to sympathize and to succor, because he has himself been thus tempted? Or did it not become so dark in his soul that he had to wrestle and to cry, If it be possible, and why hast thou forsaken me? He too had to trust God in the dark. He too in the hour of death had to let go his spirit, and commit it in the darkness of death into God's keeping. He knew what it was to walk in darkness and see no light. And when a man feels utterly helpless and in despair, Jesus can sympathize with him. He was tempted in all things like as we are. If we would but rest in the assurance that he understands it all, that he feels for us with a sympathy in which the infinite love of God and the tenderness of a fellow sufferer are combined and is able to succour him, we should soon reach the rest of God. Trusting Jesus would bring us into it. Holy brethren, 
partakers of a heavenly calling would you be strong to hold fast your confession and know in full the power of your redeemer god to save listen to-day to the voice of the holy spirit jesus was in all things tempted just as you are and why that he might be able to help you his being able to sympathize has no other purpose than that he should be able to succor let the one word be the food of your faith the other will be its fruit your blessed experience just think of god giving his son to come and pass through all the temptations that come to you that he might be able to sympathize and then lifting him up to the throne of omnipotence that he might be able to succor and say if you have not reason to trust him fully and let the faith of the blessed high priest in his infinite and tender sympathy be the foundation of a friendship and a fellowship in which we are sure to experience that he is able to save completely some time ago i asked a young lady who had come from keswick and spoke of her having been a happy christian for years before and having found such a wonderful change in her experience how she would describe the difference between what she had known before and now enjoyed her answer was ready at once oh it is the personal friendship of jesus and here is one of the gates that lead into this blessed friendship he became a man just that i might learn to trust his gentle sympathizing kindness study well the three ables of this epistle jesus able to sympathize able to succor able to save completely and claim all tempted like as we are he was made like to us in temptation, that we might become like him in victory. This he will accomplish in us. O oh, let us consider Jesus, who suffered being tempted, who experienced what temptation is, who resisted and overcame it, and brought to naught the tempter, who now lives as high priest to succour the tempted and give the victory. Let us consider Jesus, the ever-present deliverer. He will lead us in triumph through every foe. End of chapter 35